Hi guys, so today I'm here to talk to you about contradiction in writing. And um, I'm not really sure how to explain this very well, but I'll try my best. So um, one of the things I like to do when I'm writing is to have a lot of contradictions. I think it's it makes for an interesting story. Um, and what I mean by contradictions would be like, I don't know, like a religious character swearing, for example. You don't expect that, or an old lady swearing, or, you know, something that you just don't expect, because it kind of grabs people's attention. And I find that it's, it's kind of neat. It's just neat. Um, you know, it, uh, one of the contradictions that I would say for my writing would be, for example, one of my characters, Diego, he tends to, you know, he's very well dressed, he's very classy, he's very, you know, he wears his expensive suits and, you know, he's got it together, very dapper. So it's kind of interesting that in the books, he, one of his sort of things he's known for is um, when they sometimes attack people, and it sometimes happens a little bit violent in there, um, sometimes when he attacks people, he uses a baseball bat, which you wouldn't expect to see, you know, somebody very sharply dressed grabbing a baseball bat and beating someone up. Kind of stole that idea from, a bit from Ray Donovan. I just thought it was, I, I love that contradiction, and I, I know I shouldn't steal ideas, but I kind of like that, and I go a little further, I think, think or I do it a little bit differently so it's not quite the same and it's a very kind of a it's a very different kind of character too I think that that but also in that show I mean it's kind of an interesting contradiction and I've seen a few in that show that I really like and that's one of the things that grabbed me and as I've said in the past when it comes to writing if you're watching something or if you're reading something and there's an aspect that grabs your attention, pay attention to it. There's a reason for that. There's something to be said for it. And then this would be it. This would be it for me, for me. Um, I'm trying to think some other contradictions would be, oh, like um, one of the characters in my book's page, she's an assassin, but she also likes to meditate. <laughs> kind of a bit of a contradiction, right? Um, and she also, when George meets her, she has like a self-help thing going on online. She's like a, a life coach, which again is a very vast contradiction. Um, and, but that's what I like. I like that. I like that in characters, specifically in the kind of characters that I have. I, I like, you know, the fact that there's this dangerous, crazy, wild side, and then there's something totally opposite. You're like, okay, I didn't expect that. You know, um, characters kind of have to have their quirks. I mean, that could be something I could talk about in another video, actually. Maybe I'll do that next time. Um, yeah, so Contradictions is fun. Um, I find it's really interesting. You know, I think if you were to tape something, record something, a video or something, a contradiction would kind of stand out. It would it would grab attention if it's visual, that is. If it, there's something visual that contradicts, I should have been a little more clear on that. Um, yeah, and but like I say, in, in a book or in a show, especially characters, you really want to have sort of contradictory portions to the character it makes them more interesting it makes them more realistic because I think we all have a lot of contradictions you know like we might complain about this thing but yet we do this which is you know kind of like well wait a minute that doesn't make sense um yeah so I don't know really how to explain that better so uh yeah contradictions character even in storylines things that you wouldn't expect, you know, um, you see it all the time in TV, like maybe some big, I don't know, explosion or fire, or, you know, a fire or ghost or something a little bit spooky happening in a church, for example, that would be an idea of a, a contradiction or, um, you know, a very, what seems like a very nice family, but they're really actually dangerous or crazy. A lot of things like you see it all the time in television and and those are the ones that you have to admit kind of grab your attention it's like oh okay I didn't expect that it kind of keeps you interested in watching and reading hopefully um yeah I mean I love it I think it's awesome so I am going to wrap this video up for today I might actually talk about that quirky character thing in the next one. That one just kind of hit me. Anyways, guys, if you ever have any ideas for videos, if there's a topic you want me to bring up, 
please let me know. Go to memeonfire.com. Bye-bye.